Hey, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is a post-commentary video on a game that I just played. Uh, I thought it turned out pretty cool. It really showcases Pie Build Greed, Morning Dove, and Eastern Phoebe. And these are all cards that I rate as Tier 1 on my personal tier list. And speaking of that list, if you want to check it out and see what I think about various cards in the game, go to wingsplain.com and check that out. Alright, it's so on with commentary so I'm just booting up the game here I like to do two player games just because the AI takes so long and it just makes the games faster and more enjoyable so right off the bat not too impressed with the tray waiting for the AI to pick its hand so I don't got much to do at this point kinda clicking on a bunch of random stuff to see what's what you can interact with with the new theme here alright my turn so normally when I see a card like the American Coot in my opening hand I'm probably gonna grab that because I just generally like those tucking strategies and I can usually leverage them fairly effectively but I'm also looking at the pie built grebe here in my opening hand and those are the pie built grebe and the ruddy duck and the common yellow throat they all have the same power and they're, they're basically the same card um, they're pretty high impact because they generate a lot of card advantage and I think a lot of people sleep on those cards and uh, I've recently been engaged in a debate on Reddit, the Wingspan subreddit, about the effectiveness of these three cards. And uh, in relation to my personal tier list, I rate them all as tier one cards. And there was a guy debating me on that. Uh, but uh, you'll see here how the Grebe lets you dig deeper into the deck, generate card advantage, and give you options at an accelerated rate compared to your opponent's. So I'm going to take a look at my bonus cards here. And you can see we got Anatomist there. Closure Builder, not too excited about it. Checking out my nest, I got zero there. And I've got the Blue Winged Warbler and the Pie Bill Grebe in my opening hand. Both of them qualify. I'm thinking about the Coot because I like those cards. But I'm going to go with Anatomist here. And I'm going to end up taking the Blue Winged Warbler and the Pie Bill Greed. The Warbler is pretty good because it's two food for eight points. I mean, it's hard to argue with that. Taking the appropriate food. thinking thinking hard about it so the first thing that's gonna happen is I'm gonna play the Grebe start generating some card advantage so I'm gonna be looking at three cards per activation just by consequence of being in the wetlands so I'll get the one card off the board and then I'll get two off the Grebe and I gotta get rid of one not too impressed by anything that's in the tray, so I really want to see what's coming up from the deck. Although the Western Meadowlark is pretty good. Waiting for the AI, who takes forever. So we get the Bells Virio. Now we get the Morning Dove off the Grebe. So already I'm looking at the Morning Dove and saying, okay, I want to get that down in the forest. I'm going to eventually play the Blue Wing Warbler. And the Bells Virio is looking pretty good too right now. But uh, I'm really liking that I got the Morning Dove. So already off the bat, Pie Bell Grebe has gotten us a strategy a way forward and we don't really need to dig that much deeper right now at this point I got the food to play the morning dove I've got 
half the food I need for the warbler or the vireo. And I'm planning on building out my forest. Northern Bob White is a card that I generally like, but right now for this game, it's not conducive to the strategy that I'm going to be employing. So I chuck it. Waiting for the AI again. Throw it on the morning dove, nothing to it. And now I'm able to gain food and eggs off my forest, which is an optimal state to be in. Any anytime you can double up or triple up on your resource generation, uh, you're really doing well right now. So now we are at two worms for our two cards in hand and we have an egg. So we're looking pretty good. I'm gonna check the wetlands before I always do that. When it's my turn I always check the wetlands to see what cards are available. And I'm debating I think I was debating which card to actually play right now. And in what slot to play them in. I'm gonna go with the Bells Virio to broaden my bonus card selection here. Take the egg off the dove and we kind of whiff a little bit. But it's looking like Passerine Specialist is going to work for us at this point in the game. The lesser of two evils. So now I'm getting two food and an egg. Activating my forest. Only had one worm for the warbler. Checking out my round bonuses. All three of my birds qualify for the round bonus, so I'm considering laying eggs here. at my food, not liking the bird feeder. But I'm going to lay those eggs to secure the round bonus. and now we gain our food and what that did there too is laying eggs there I gave the AI the opportunity to reroll the bird feeder for me so I didn't have to take that rat but he didn't oblige us so now we get our worm and we have a rat got our round bonus Check out the bird or the uh, bird tray, and I'm liking the heron. I'm also liking the woodpecker here. Drop the warbler for a clean eight points. And now I'm looking at drawing cards. If I were playing against a human player, I probably would have drawn the cards I wanted here. Uh, but I wasn't too concerned that the AI would screw me out of my cards. Take some off the top of the deck, like the eagle. Sit here and consider the Foster's turn. Um, considering building out my wetlands. Second round bonus is birds in the wetlands. And I happen to have three birds that go in the wetlands. But i got to get rid of a card, and I want the 17 points on these birds here. And I happen to have a rat for my heron, so that worked out. Eastern Phoebe hits the bird tray. 
That's always a good card. Take the fish for the heron. Get an egg off the dove. And we're not having to waste any of our turns on the lay egg action, which is a big benefit for us right now. We're getting the eggs that we need to play birds. We're getting the food that we need to play birds. And the pie bill grebe is coming through and helping us see a lot of cards. Gives us a lot of options and we're drawing well too, so that's always good. Eight point activation, dropping the heron. Now I need rats for my eagle. I don't think I realized it became my turn there. It's clicking on stuff. Picked up the rat, took a wheat because it's always good to have. I'm looking at the Phoebe and the woodpecker. Not liking the bird feeder. And actually what I'm going to do here is take this opportunity to draw the cards that I'm liking in the tray. And the heron is also going to allow me to get the rats that I need for the eagle. So the heron is actually working out really well other than just being nine points. So now once again we're getting food and cards off our wetlands. Multiple resources off of one habitat. Grebe lets us dig deeper. We get Wilson Snipe, which I also rate as a tier one card. It's five points for one food. Tier two, here's my tier list. Yeah, tier two card. So I drew the Phoebe and the Woodpecker. My tier list got in the way there. Now I'm securing the food. Get my third rat, another worm that I'm going to need for the future, and another egg. So the dove is really coming through on the eggs for us. Win the second round bonus. Now we're going to drop the eagle in the grasslands, keeping the eggs off the morning doves so it can keep doing its job. Nothing in the tree I really want. I'm going to drop the snipe for four net points. And we need that worm. I don't know what I'm thinking about here. Probably the round bonus, thinking about laying eggs on the appropriate ground nest. Yeah. Got the snipe covered. And then setting up for the fourth round bonus eggs in the grasslands. Not 
this point I'm plotting out what I'm going to do next. Don't really need cards at this point, just need the food to get these birds down. I'm not sure what I'm thinking about here. Thinking hard about something. Bonus cards. Probably thinking about getting to the top end of the point value here on the bonus cards. Grab the worm, re-roll, and a cherry. Roll worm. Go with the worm. Alright, we're looking really good at this point. Now I'm going to want to start laying a bunch of eggs in the grassland specifically to secure that fourth round bonus which is worth the most amount of points, seven. And the Phoebe is going to help us there with not only the egg capacity but it's also going to give us food and then of course we have the opportunity to score points off our eagle. And you're going to see a switching of gears here, free card off the AI painted bunting like that but uh, getting the food and the eggs off the forest now we're going to see a switching of the gears into the grasslands we're going to be getting eggs and food off the grasslands Making sure all our birds with ground nests are covered. Got the round three bonus. And moving into round four. I want to get both these birds on the board. I've been whiffing on my bonus cards here a little bit. Kind of whiff again. And we're just going to start egg spamming. We're going to get eggs and we're going to get food for our woodpecker off the grasslands. While securing the fourth round bonus. So everything's kind of going our way here. Three more activations left. Going to max out our eggs here in the grassland. Going to need one more worm to play the woodpecker, which is fine because we're just getting points through eggs at this point. Egg spam for the win. Now I'm hoping my luck on my bonus card changes here and I don't whiff again. Right now I'm looking at the point total. Do I stand to... So four 
guaranteed points off eggs, one potential point off the eagle, versus net three off the woodpecker plus the potential for more points off the bonus card. So I end up going for the woodpecker and the bonus card, hoping to not whiff, and we don't. Six points off ecologists. That worked out very well. Yeah, and that's our board. <clears throat> morning Dove, Pie Bill Grebe to start the game, and then the Morning Dove, and then it switches gears into the Eastern Phoebe. Really came through for us. Solid 46 points on birds. 12 on bonus. We dominated the end of round goals. 22 points. Did really well on eggs. Even tucked a few cards. And got 102 points. So pretty good game. Broke 100 points. Uh, had some good engines going. A good variety. Got to utilize all three habitats effectively. Whiffed on some bonus cards and then had a clutch one at the end. Yeah, big point birds, lots of eggs, lots of bonus cards. Morning Dove coming through for us. So yeah, that's all there is to it. So thanks for checking it out. Uh, once again, if you want to check out my tier list, go to wingsplain.com. I got a series of strategy articles there as well. Uh, you can check that out and learn a little bit more about the game and what I think about it. And yeah, thanks for watching.